Uh, hi everyone, in this uh, video I will show you how to print this pattern as you can see in front of your screen by using C++. So, um, as you can see, the numbers which are written in red color, these are the rows. And the number which are written in yellow, uh, which uh, these are columns. So as you can see, it has five rows and five columns. Now in this uh, video, I will show you uh, that how you can print this uh, pattern in C++. So we need uh, the, uh, we need for loop for this. Uh, so we need two for loops. Well, I will show you what happens that uh, by we need two. two loops one loop uh, controls number of uh, rows and num one loop controls number of columns so as you can see this is row 1 when program starts running it it's first going to print this star and then then when it moves to the second row it print two stars and then when our program moves to row three it will print three stars and when it will move to row four it will print four stars and when it moves to row five it prints five stars so I will explain you how we can do this okay for example this is our loop number one Let's say i equals to 1. This is semicolon. And as we know that we have 5 rows, so we will write here i is less than equals to 5 i increment. This loop prints number of line uh, number of rows control number of rows now we need another loop to print number of stars Now this is very important thing. What it does that when loop starts, for example, over here, i is equals to one in this loop. I is equals to one. So over here it is one. This loop starts, and when it see that condition has one it will print only one star it moves to two then it will print two stars and three stars I will explain it to you later uh, let's just start writing this program don't worry when we, I will write this program I will tell you how that thing is working because you will get confused if I to told you everything right now So we will include header file iostream commu.h for this video. So we are using this uh, header, header files for uh, commu.h for get ch. Okay, now we need two variables for this for two loops. Loop for loop number one, let's say rows, and for loop two, let's say columns. Okay, we are done over here now. Let's use for loop. 
for controlling number of rows. So row is less than equal to five. As we know that we have to print uh, five rows and five columns. So I will explain you how this is working. We need and now this loop control is for columns. going to do it is going to print stars okay after this execution after this execution we, we are going to need next line for row 2 so over here we will write backslash n we cannot write backslash n over here because what happens that it prints the star and it prints in next line. What happens that it will uh, only print in only one uh, line, so th that's not uh, appropriate, and we cannot use over here. What happens that when this loop completes execution, it will going uh, this C out prints next line. So road uh, after that road two comes. I will tell you how this is working. First, we are going to run this program. I will explain each and everything. One more thing which I forgot, I uh, I forgot to write get ch to hold the screen. That's why we are using Tony uh, R H. So our program start ex has executed. Now let me explain you how this is working. As you can see. There are five rows and five columns. What happens that when loop starts, it, it, it is in row number one, which has one star. Now, program moves to the columns. And as you can see, column is equals to one. And in this condition, which we know that loops just start right now. And loop has value, row has number one. So this condition has number one value, it prints number one and moves to this statement. After going to this statement, it prints next line. So our programs come over here. Now it increments and it ha now our row has two value and it, it starts from two and print like column number, it starts from one and it has condition two. So it prints two stars and then goes next line. So this process keep on uh, continue till the condition is achieved. I hope you like this video and if you don't understand anything just do let me know and I can make another video to help you understand more clearly. And if you don't understand anything you can let me know and you can tell me how I can improve this. And this is my new channel, like it, subscribe it and stay classy.